I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation. And in some other videos and on my blog, I've talked a little bit about Monit, which is a industrial sensor system that I installed in my home to track things like when my door opens and to record temperatures and things like that. And I've always been in contact with Monit um, and you know, learning about the new sensors that they're putting out. And recently they told me about a new product line they're launching called TART sensors. And basically these are intended more for people like us, enthusiasts, um, do-it-yourself kinds of people and that kind of thing. So they're really a maker-oriented product um, and they work similarly to Monet's industrial sensors. So Monet actually sent me several of these to try out so I can report back to you all about how they work. So here is the box I got from them. And the first thing I find interesting is that, of course, we have this battery warning on there telling me that there's some lithium batteries. I'm assuming those are the little coin cells in there that Monet uses to power its sensors. So it's probably using a similar sensor powering technology to what we have with their industrial one. I'm just going to open that up. The first thing I see in here is just got some loose packed sensors in anti-static bags. So let's see the first one. So this is one of the wireless gateways, and this is the one for Raspberry Pi. So these sensors are designed, again, for more of a maker market. And basically, instead of having to have a $200 hub like you do with the full Monet system, instead you have these little plates that go onto either the Raspberry Pi the Arduino or the BeagleBone. So this is the um, Raspberry Pi plate and it looks like it's something that would just snap into the Pi using the sort of normal connectors. Um, looking at the back here, so it's going to give us that 900 megahertz uh, wireless communication with the individual little sensor modules. So that's our first piece. Let's see what else we've got in here. So this is one of the actual sensors itself. Basically, you'd plug this into your Raspberry Pi, and then there's presumably some code that we can use on there to communicate here. And then these are the actual little sensor modules that you could place anywhere in your home. And then it transmits data wirelessly in the same way as the industrial Monet system back to this uh, plate, and you could basically read that on your Raspberry Pi or Arduino or Beagle One. So here's a motion sensor. And it looks like basically we've just got um, your standard kind of per PIR um, motion detector here doing passive infrared. And we've got a little antenna on the board obviously to transmit back. And it looks like you would slip a coin cell battery into the holder on the back there, very much like Monet's industrial products. Um, so let's see what else we've got on here. No enclosure, so it obviously is intended very much for that maker market where you're going to be putting this into your own enclosure or you don't really mind just having it out there. And the other thing I notice is that there's really no enclosure. This um, uh, PIR sensor is just soldered with its uh, little legs sticking it up in <laughs> into the air here. So you really would need to either build your own enclosure or um, embed this in some kind of a project, which I think is the idea. And these are a lot less expensive than the full Monet line, which is another reason why it's geared more towards that hobbyist DIY market. So we've got an open-close sensor, similar in terms of the transmitter, but we've just got a little read switch on here, and I talk about those in another video. This is very similar to what I use to monitor whether my front door is open. We've got a temperature sensor. And again, I use the industrial equivalent of these from Monet. So similar configuration to the passive infrared sensor. Let me kind of jiggle this down here. And you can see they've just got what looks like a thermistor uh, soldered right onto the board there. Let's see what else. So this is the equivalent shield like I had with a Raspberry Pi plate but this one goes with an Arduino. So it would snap right in, and presumably we can read these wireless sensors right off of the Arduino. So two different options for how to connect with 
these sensors. Got antennas. I'm assuming these are for the actual boards. And you can see they're huge, really. It's because these transmit at 900 megahertz, which is a pretty low frequency. And that's great because it means you have a good range and excellent penetration of walls and other things you would find in your home. That's why these are really great little wireless sensors. Uh, we've got the standard pack of batteries here, and they are indeed lithium batteries, coin cells. You can get these things on Amazon. I did another video about where to find these super, super cheap. Let's see what else. Um, we have a couple of small antennas here, it looks like. So this is the connector for these large pieces, and then the small board connector to go into those plates. Let's see if there is anything else. Got a nice card here from Monet. And just a packing slip and a bunch of peanuts. So there you have it. Those are the TARTS sensors from Monet. Um, again, much like the industrial sensor line, but more for the maker market. Less expensive, obviously a little bit less refined. Um, and uh, in some future videos, I'll be showing basically how these work and how you can actually read data from your home automation system uh, with these sensors.